is the earth is covered by a thin layer of solid rock known as the crust. Think about bread has a crust, the earth has a crust. A lot of the kids were really interested in also not only how water came to be on the earth but also what was inside the earth. The crust is the mantle. It is mostly solid rock. So we sort of backtracked before we came back to water. With pockets of liquid rock. Liquid rock. Do you know what liquid rock is called? Magma. Liquid rock is called magma. Oh yeah, magma. Have you heard that word before, magma? Yeah. When I'm reading nonfiction, I'm sometimes just wondering along with the children, like, wow, can you believe that? Isn't that incredible? Because, I mean, it's just as interesting for me as it is for them. Deeper into the earth is an outer core of liquid, you're not going to believe this, metal. You know, I would never just read a nonfiction book straight through. And then the crust is divided into large areas called plates. They fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. So the crust on the earth is in plates that cover the earth. The plates are constantly moving. So I'm stopping. Sometimes, as maybe much paraphrasing as or adding information. Thing. What do you think might happen when the plates that cover the earth move? Yeah. That's what causes earthquakes. When they two bump into each other, they might go up and make a mountain. So, so those plates that are moving could cause an earthquake. Mm. But you're saying when they bump, they could push up, maybe to form a mountain. And do you know how hot the middle of the earth is? No. It is four thousand five hundred oh degrees God. Celsius. Oh. Oh. And the other thing I know that will happen sometimes when we work this way is that everybody will talk at once. 4,500 degrees Celsius, that's how hot the middle of the earth is. I'll just listen and if I hear that people are on topic, then I'll just let them all talk for a few minutes. Because that gives everyone a chance to say what they want. And then we'll come back together again. Okay everybody, have a look up here. And then I'll invite children to share some of the things they were Did saying. Thinking that maybe there are still dinosaurs in the water? I don't think so, so because they lived a very long time.